at St Xavier's College Mumbai she completed her graduation top of the class in english literature from ram narayan riya college she attended the scottish university's international summer school in literature at university of edinburgh she finished her post graduation from mumbai university and was an exchange student at the university of dusseldorf in germany she is recipient of the shepherd family graduate scholarship of st hugh's college and pursued her masters in world literature in english from the university of oxford she specializes in victorian modern british and post colonial literature she is befittingly our guest of honor for tatility instructions participants will be randomly assigned a fictional character and names of element by spinning of the wheel of fortune after assigning the characters and elements name the character traits will be shown on a slide for 5 seconds you are supposed to form a story in 3 minutes using the element and the fictional characters as keywords and speak for 2 minutes while narrating your story you are supposed to switch on your camera throughout you will be scored on the basis of your creativity originality content of story performance and time management this is all okay now we'll be just giving it like showing the demo for example on spinning the character wheel you get harry potter and on spinning the <coughs> element wheel you get the element radium so you get 3 minutes to think of the story just for example having lived in the muggle world for so long harry potter was used to having doing all his chores on his own but little did he know that today was the day he had to do magic outside hogwarts as he walked to get groceries he noticed that he was being followed and soon realized that a strange illuminating light was leading him to a mysterious place but this could it be magic he recollected that he had once read that radium was used to illuminate such lamps and was the most one of the most radioactive materials used in this way you can continue the story and build a connection between radium and the selfless character of harry potter and speak for 2 minutes participants you are requested to rename yourself as your contingent code followed by your name and surname okay, the first contingent code au01 please unmute and start your video au01 AU zero one. Your element is oxygen. Now we'll go on to the character. Okay, A U zero one. Uh, your character is Harsha Mehta. Uh, okay, ma'am. Thank you. So, uh, your character is Harsha Mehta. Your element is oxygen. Uh, so your time mm -hmm. starts right now. And please uh, note down the qualities we mentioned in the slide while uh, thinking of the story. The time starts now. Dishita, I hope you are on the right track. Time is up. Three minutes are done. Now you can start speaking. Two minutes. Okay, okay. Oh, there. What do you see? I was trying to create oxygen, as we all know how important it is for all of us. I myself, Harshad Mehta, the ultimate scientist, or you can say the scammer. But you know what? What's the worst part? I tried to create the oxygen, but hold on. I didn't create oxygen. I create carbon dioxide. Yes, I did. The most intelligent Harshad Mehta, the one who has the devil-like attitude, the one 
who don't care of what exactly has happened or what exactly is happening the one who's really very confident yes i i tried to create oxygen but you know what i felt i felt miserably unaware of the facts i created it yes miss thank you thank you contingent code au01 contingent code ay01 please be ready please unmute yourself and keep your video on okay uh, i have scored the previous contestant uh, we can move on to the next one thank you ma'am i'll go on to the next one uh, contingent code ay01 are you ready please unmute yourself hi yes okay i'll be spinning the wheel of element for you right now your element is iodine next we'll go on to the fictional character your fictional character is naina talwar from my jhd okay so contingent code ay01 uh your time will be starting right now dishita please start okay uh, so nena was a smart girl she was very interested in how things around her work and how everyday things are uh, are processed in like so one day as she was going to her stuff she came across a old photo album uh as she was uh, looking at the photos it jogged up so many memories and uh nana by nana started wondering how does this photo film really develop she just took out a laptop and started looking for answers and she discovered that one of the main elements used in photographic films is iodine and since she was very strong and smart she uh, just spent hours and hours learning about how iodine has been used in photographic films since a very young age at the end of the uh, research uh, she felt like she was very really inspired by the task that she had accomplished today and that uh, and that led her to feel uh, that something she hadn't really felt in a while she was very introverted she felt like she uh, wasn't a deep person but uh, giving all the photographs and uh, accomplishing so much in one day uh, led her to believe that she should take something that's uh take up something that is out of the box and try on new experiences thank you thank you contingent ay01 we'll give the judge a couple moments okay ma'am uh, i'll be moving on okay contingent code j01 please unmute and be ready i'm putting your video on is j01 able to hear me yes can you see yeah. me okay uh yeah yeah i can i can thank you so i'll be spinning the wheel for you right now element wheel the yeah, element is carbon please note that down next your fictional character
your fictional character is superman uh contingent code uh j01 please note your fictional character is superman and your element is carbon dikshita please start the time right now uh, your 3 minutes are over okay now so you can I... start speaking yeah you can start yes, speaking yes, yes, dikshita yes, yes. will be counting your time right now okay okay you can start speaking i am a superman what do you think uh i'll be the most powerful man yes i am i can resolve you everyone's problem but uh, today when i was rocking back at my chair with my cup of tea it took me back on my 15th birthday it recollected me it just made an image before me that uh i ain't be strong as my mom yes she was the most strongest more stronger even than me she was just like as carbon in my life she made nearly each and every substance each and every component of my life she just as just the carbon makes glucose sugars and as the component of each and everything my mom was just like that but she hasn't wasn't paid for this she was the lady who did a full time job without any salary but all that worth was my life for her it may sound peculiar that a superman can be the less powerful by someone else yes that was my mom one day uh, when i was playing in the play area i found my mom's necklace was broken there i found it was a diamond necklace it was so so precious to her i thought how does the diamond was been made and why is it so precious it was made out of the carbon connecting links i broke it by mistake but she didn't even yell at me because she is the only one who cares for me not just for the money thank you thank you contingent code j01 uh, we'll wait for uh, amrita ma'am now next contestant uh, contingent code av24 contingent code av24 please uh, keep your yeah the cont- i think s05 is here she was over before me okay okay uh, contingent code s05 uh, can yes. you hear me i'm here uh, am i audible okay Yeah, yeah, you're audible. Please put your video on. Oh uh, yes, I switched it on. It, it will come on in a minute. Yeah, okay, fine. No problem. I'm happy to move forward. Okay. Uh, contingent code S zero five. Uh, please be ready. I'll be spinning the wheel for you right now. Yes. Uh, your element is red on we'll go on to the fictional character okay. your fictional character is rancho from three idiots uh so contingent code s05 please note down your element is red on and your fictional character is rancho uh dishita please start the timer on for three minutes so as we know rancho is someone who loves to stand out and he always uh, like he he kind of thinks out of the box so one day he was with his friends and uh, they all went for a trip and in in that trip one of his friends uh, was exposed to radon but he did not realize that he is exposed to re- re- uh, radon and uh, radon has a tendency if you if you are over exposed it can cause cancer so after a long period of time his friend discovers that he he has uh, got cancer and he confides in rancho for help so as we all know rancho was very intelligent and he decides to help his friend so he does a lot of research and 
his and his friend is not ready to take chemotherapy and all sorts of medicines so he uh, uh, he comes across this thing that uh, there is something known as radon uh, therapy so he works on that and then uh, he after doing a lot of research he uh, convinces his friend to undergo radon therapy and uh, his friends his friend listens to him and he uh, takes his advice and he uh, goes for the therapy that he suggested and this therapy was slightly different from the normal therapies and rancho manages to help his friend out and not completely but he's quite uh, safe now and he helps his friend out in this way thank you thank you contingent code s05 uh, contingent uh, ma'am will be marking now uh, contingent code av24 contingent code av24 please unmute and put your video on uh, yeah yeah one second going ahead contingent code av24 uh, i'll be spinning the wheel of elements for you right now your element is sodium your fictional character i'll be spinning the wheel right now your fictional character is gabbar singh so contingent code i hope you have noted down your element is sodium and your fictional character is gabbar singh uh, dishita we start the time kitne aadmi the gabbar asked he again was on his murderous spree killed everyone on sight this sadistic revengeful and a man filled with lies and deceit was on to his new list of names that he wanted to target his new target was hemant a poor poor man who merely was from gabbar again his murderous rage was on the go as he was out and about searching for hemant he he spotted he spotted him and quickly got him under his grabs however very near very adjacent he saw a woman anusha his absolute dream girl looked like a princess and he was so ready to give him uh give her his own however a uh, great thing about what happened uh, later was anusha also fell in love with gabbar what they had for the next few days was a beautiful love story which is why he kind of sidelined him however it was finally the day when it was time for him to be hung anusha however however went on in front of him and asked him why he wanted to be so angry he confided and told him that no he she would not spend another second with him because of his uh, because of his anger and his issues gabbar promised anusha that no he's not going to be that mean however he didn't listen so what happened was anusha convinced gabbar to let go of him and sentence and give the poor man some water for he was starving upon giving him some water anusha quickly took out the sodium that she had in a small bottle that she carried around with her threw it in front of gabbar uh, asked him to throw the water that he was served onto the sodium which led to a react which led to a complete reaction and fire everywhere uh, uh, providing that as a mode to escape him and anusha joined hands and ran away from there turns out anusha and him were siblings and was all a plot gabbar set on to his next murderous spree to find and plot against anusha and him thank you thank you contingent code av24 i would request contingent code s19 to be ready please unmute yourself hi yeah i'm ready ha uh, contingent code s19 i'm spinning the wheel of elements right now your element is mercury now next i'll be spinning the wheel of a fictional character your fictional character is michael scott so 
contingent code S19, your element is Mercury, and your fictional character is Michael Scott. Uh, Dishita, please put the timer on. So Michael was worried. He was running a fever and wouldn't be able to make it to the office. Um, he called Dwight and asked him to take over his duties, knowing full well Dwight would take complete advantage and boss around <clears throat> his employees. He looked uh, uh, for his first aid box for a thermometer and used it to check his temperature. Apparently, he had a fever of 102. Next, he took out a tablet of paracetamol and popped it along with a glass of water. While returning the instrument back to its place, he accidentally dropped it and broke it. Mercury had spilled everywhere on the floor. Uh, uh, Michael uh, attempted to clean it up, but uh, he uh, enjoyed the liquid feel of it and kept playing around with it instead of uh, keeping it back to its place. Um, he had to clean it up, but he, uh, but he couldn't uh, get it, get himself to do so, and uh, started to uh, started to make uh, drawings with the liquid, um, and he could see himself in in the uh, reflective um, nature of the liquid. Uh, next, he got a call from Dwight. Um, apparently, uh, um, some prank on him had been played by Pam, and he was, uh, and he wanted to take revenge for that and fire her. Michael attempted to calm him down and uh, explain to him that he was not the boss and he uh, and he could he was just uh, the managing um, director for now. That's about it. Thank you. Thank you. Contingent code S19. Okay. Contingent code AD01. Uh, if you're ready, can I start the spinning the wheel? Yes. So please put your video on. Now I'll be putting, uh, I'll be uh, spinning the wheel for you all. Your element is platinum. Okay. The fictional character. Your fictional character is Percy Jackson. So, contingent code uh, AD01. Your element is platinum. Your fictional character is Percy Jackson. Dishita, please put the timer on. Okay. Um, one day while returning from school, uh, Percy saw a platinum ring fallen on, on the floor. Being a good-natured guy, he searched for the person to whom it belonged. And suddenly a lady appeared and said, it belongs to me. Being sarcastic, he said, yeah, as if I will believe you. So the uh, lady began to snatch it from him. And while, sn while snatching, the ring fell, in, uh, fell into a hole. So the both person ring fell into the hole and... Uh, <clears throat> The lady was uh, in shock that her platinum ring fell into the hole. So in search for it, uh, being brave, uh, Percy jumped into the hole to find it. And when he found it, the lady just uh, the lady was so happy and it uh, Percy could see on his on her face that really she was happy to find the ring. So Percy got to know that it really belonged to her and returned it to him as he was a good natured person. That's it. Thank you, contingent code AV01. Uh, we'll be waiting for a couple of seconds for ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, I'll be moving on to Sayoni. Sayoni, please lead on. With this amazing event, we would like to conclude this event by taking a moment to thank our food partner, Gomo. All the momos are handmade to perfection with a generous amount of stuffing inside. A plate of piping hot momos awaiting for you. I never stop to see you cry. I never listen to your tears and prayers. Oh, no. I never stop to see you try. I never listen to the words you say. Oh. 
Now I'd like to thank our education partner, Salika Institute, your design career guide, offering career guidance, counseling, and mentoring in the field of design, arts, architecture, and fashion. <laughs> I'm honored to deliver the word of thanks on behalf of the entire team at SAC. I want to thank our judge, Professor Amrita Shinoy, for accepting our humble invitation and taking time out to help us out with Title A Day. I have no words to offer the gratitude for your valuable presence. Thank you so much for, to all the participants for their splendid performance. This event was possible because of you all decided to support and join us today. I would also want to thank the head of the department, Mr. Maraspar Kotwa, and uh, conveyor of ZAC, Dr. Ashma Agarwal, for supporting us at each step. A big thank you to Team ZAC, who helped the event run seamlessly. But most of, uh, but most of all, thank you to our audience for being highly cooperative, and it is because of you we, are, we keep going. We hope you had a fun session today. I will hereby rest my speech. Thank you all. <laughs>